5 inch LCD display, I got it from Amazon, it was about £40 so it's not too expensive or anything like that. Um, this is pretty much the back of the display, if I show you it there, and it focuses, so that's pretty much it. So on the display itself, what has it got? So it's got a standard HDMI input and a USB power, that's how it gets power. Most important thing of all an instruction manual because knowing me and my previous builds and stuff hasn't gone, always gone to plan so instructions very handy right next up some extra long screws always good to have could technically theoretically speaking connect this to a games console very simple you can program it to a games console but I don't know why you'd want to hook up your PS5 or something to a little small screen like this but you can do it I'm just putting it out there you can do it <laughs> Okay guys, so the parts that we're going to be using to mount the 5 inch display into the Stormtrooper build is very simple and as follows. So obviously the 5 inch display, a standard HDMI cable and a USB cable to power the monitor. So it's just like that sort of connection, so I flip it around, okay you can see here that is the back of the board. So the HDMI will go into here and the USB to power it will go into this port here that's all we need you don't need anything else for the 5 inch display to work and um, also I'm going to be using some of the screws maybe depending on where we're going to put it so we're thinking of mounting it somewhere inside here I'll show you a better view anyway but let's take apart the panel and let's get this installed <laughs> Okay guys, so we have finished. As you can see, I've got it right there installed nicely in the corner. I didn't even have to use any of these screws or anything. Didn't have to use those. It's sitting there nicely with the graphics card plate as well. The window panel is gonna go on and obviously the last part being taking off the film. So I love this part. Girl, look at that really cool looking in there it looks a bit um, overpowering because I've got all the other lights on and the strip lights running but when I turn everything off you'll see in a lot more detail what it looks like yeah oh and that's the other monitor it's all still running perfectly let's go here you can see how I've installed the 5 inch monitor I've taken out the back panels here I've also taken out this section here in order to fit the HDMI cable which is running out and the USB cable which is running out here. Now the way the monitor is actually being powered is through the back of the graphics card. So if you look here, oh, one of the HDMI cables from here, the graphics card, is directly into the 5 inch display at the bottom here, right there. The other one is a DisplayPort cable, which is also converted from DisplayPort to VGA cable to power this monitor here because it's very old and it only has a VGA connection. The other monitor here has a HDMI connection. So to get around that, because I've only got one HDMI connection on the back of the graphics card, I've had to buy a HDMI to DVI DisplayPort output, which is that converter cable there so depending on what graphics card you have the newer um, graphics cards especially the 3080s have four HDMI ports um, so you can easily connect four HD cables into there so that will make it a lot easier without having to get adapter cables like I've got, gone and had to do now that's pretty much it how you get the monitors to display all three in one go um, yes there is a big cable management issue going on here I will address the cable man management issue so before you get on to me in the comment section about my cable management I am working on that I guarantee you 